that speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine There's a lot of mosquitoes and it's very hot today. It was 26 degrees, which is a lot in Finland. Another piece of an old plate. This big hole here. I'm just trying to fill it up with some stones. A nice thin stone that I can squeeze in there. Just put some mortar first. This crack here is quite big, but I will put a couple of stones underneath there, so it will strengthen it a bit. is covered it looks pretty decent and then all these fine things has to be put with another layer that is a finer concrete now I'm moving on to the next hole 
that's a big crack as well and then that end is already fixed That's the first layer complete. Let's go and check on the garden. I need to do a trellis. Let's take two of these with us. Check out my new boots for the garden <laughs> to replace the broken ones. I really like these because they're quite soft to use. They are this Nokia. And no, this is not a sponsor. They're quite comfortable. You can almost not see, but I built this trellis here for the bees with some string around a couple of times. My carrots are not as good as last year, but I think it's still okay. I will get some at least. I start to see some life here in the zucchinis. There's a tiny zucchini there and lots of male flowers. And look at the nasturtiums, they are growing very nicely now. Yeah, it's looking okay. I've been picking strawberries almost every day now. Mm. They're very sweet. That's my decoy. <laughs> Tiny and sweet. There is so much weeds here that I cannot tell where the garden bed starts and where it ends. <laughs> Look at the size of these weeds. They are huge. the cardboards from the sauna chamber. I hope they don't fly away immediately. There's plenty more though, but I would like to press it down with mulch first. And I don't have any mulch at the moment. Just the grass clippings, but it's not enough. Look, I cut all these weeds around the potatoes. They were so high that you couldn't even see the, the potatoes at all. And now I want to scoop all these grass clippings on top of them. I'm making a salad and it's nice to get something from the garden. These pea shoots are very good in the salad. And now I have some spinach as well. 
and a couple of really sm small radishes and chives. It has avocado and corn and cottage cheese and all kind of yummy stuff. Egg too. And I'm going to put a little tuna as well. I put a little bit of this smoked um, chili mayonnaise. It's very yummy. very good there. I just want to lift this but I don't know how to do that. Maybe I push it up a little. Here is some rotting wood as well in this corner. I will replace this one too. I put this everywhere where the concrete is in touch with the wood so it doesn't get the moisture from the concrete. This is just a little short now because I have to take some more. don't use this drill but I have so much cement to do today today I'm gonna do it a bit looser because I'm gonna fill the mold now with this so it can be a little looser Oops. I, this is why I don't like this drill bit because it just, you don't lose the control It's just, it's more controlled and it's not as messy. I need to put a little more.
this is the last batch of concrete so in total now I have put nine bags and I need at least five five more I think This is as far as I can work on this at the moment. I still need to be, build a frame here so this corner gets nice and I need to lift this up a little bit so that it's on the same level as this block here so I can fill it up all the way this. But unfortunately I ran out of concrete so I will leave it to dry like this for now and work on something else in the meantime. I hope you didn't find this video too boring. See you next week. Bye bye.